Hello, I'm Trent, AKA O Trademark here. And today I wanna to show you guys the most efficient method to AFK farm fruits in the time chamber. This method is absolutely nutty. It's been the best method which I've found so far. And I've been given a lot of methods to test, test by a lot of different players. This is by far my favorite one. Um, if you guys have something better that you know of, let me know. But basically I'm averaging like 500 fruits a night by utilizing this. And let me just show you guys how this works. So essentially the problem with doing a tiny task in this area is that it, let's say that you, you know, you go to every single corner of the map, you collect all the fruits and you try and come back to your starting position. Let's say your starting position is, you know, on this light or something, right? Well, because of latency and input delays and various different uh, random factors, you're never going to end up at the exact same point that you started your tiny task. And so it, eventually it starts to get off route and you're going to end up stuck in certain areas. You're going to stuck, get stuck on some of the buildings around here in the, in the area. But if you utilize this method, it should hopefully prevent that. I've been running it for weeks now. Uh, it, I've only had it get stuck once and that was primarily my own fault uh, because I didn't set it up quite correctly one night. Now, this is something that you do have to reset up anytime that you change your movement speed, anytime that uh, you know, you're, uh, you're, basically that's it. Just really, once you have a different movement speed, you're gonna have to kind of switch it up. And if you're like using a different computer, I guess you have different resolution, different monitor, you might have to set it up again. But the key is this little skull here, right? Right. So this skull acts as kind of like a catch all for you in this corner. What you're gonna do is you're gonna zoom out and up above your body as high as you can. And then you're gonna line these horns up vertically and you're just gonna go into this corner. And this is your starting position, okay? Then I'm gonna hit F8 and I'm not gonna to touch the mouse, okay? I'm only going to move my character with the WASD key. So I'm gonna hit record. I'm gonna to come to the right and up and I'm basically gonna go around this burning building here. I'm, again, I'm only using WASD. I'm gonna go below these buildings right here. I'm gonna come down and around the ship on the outside of this ship down here. And then I'm going to go down I'm going to, this is optional, but I like to cut up here into this middle area just to collect any middle fruits, which might be there. Then you come back down here to the bottom, you cut left around the time god, and then your final destination is to go up to, through the fountain and you go diagonally. And basically you just go diagonal right back into this little groove here. You let go, you record, you finish the recording, make sure it's on preferences, continuous playback, Control Alt Shift P or whatever your hockey is to play this back. And the reason why this works is in my opinion twofold, okay? First of all, it's relatively simple. You notice that I'm not cutting back and forth throughout the whole map. Now, lots of you know people say that they set up their tiny task to be super intricate in this because they don't want to miss any fruits. Well, the problem with that is the more cutbacks and stuff that you have, the more opportunities you have to get stuck on something and for it to get out of sync. So uh, you'll notice here that as I'm going around, it's not going to be exactly the same area, but because this call, skull is acting as a catch all, it's putting me back into the same position that I started the last loop from and is basically preventing me from getting out of sync. Um, the only time that this really falters overnight is if you have some really bad lag on your computer or if, for example, you go too close to a building, all right? One incorrect lap, which is what happened to me the one time when this mess messes up, is if you're going too close to something and you get a little bit out of sync, you get you know, a laggy period of time on, or maybe some lag on your internet, you're going to actually get caught on one of those buildings that you're just trying to pass by and that's going to ruin the loop. Not only is it going to ruin the loop, it's going to ruin the rest of the night for that tiny task because now you're doing like a circle in this weird, you know, you're basically going to be trying to do a circle kind of and, you know, it's not going to when I came back, it was it wasn't stuck, but it was like looping around in a, a little tiny corner of the upper left position. Right. So um, like I was saying, Keep it simple, 
go back to the same area. It acts as kind of like a catch-all in that corner. And it it is is basically the best way which I've personally found to AFK fruits in the time chamber. It's really efficient. It's pretty simple to set up. It's something that you can just go and set up. It can be done with regardless of how quick or slow you are on your mounts. It can be done with pretty much any mount. I prefer the low profile mounts because they seem to get stuck in this corner a little bit easier. Um, some of the bigger ones that seemed like sometimes if you came too much uh, on the side, it would actually kind of uh, skip over that. So, but you guys can see here, it's been running. Um, you know, I, I guess I can do some fast forward loops to prove that this will just go, but just take my word for it. You know, I've been using this same one for weeks. It, I've been using the same type of loop as what we're running right here. And it is really efficient, like I said. Um, and one other thing that I just want to mention uh, while we're on the topic, I, if you noticed one of those fruits, I was really far away. I think people miss, uh, underestimate just how far the reach on magnet is. Okay, now this this loop I'm showing you guys only works with magnet. If you want to try and pick up fruits in the time chamber without magnet, don't even try it. Okay, it's gonna be so complex to try and go back and forth with a tiny task that's efficient enough to pick up the small radius without magnet. So just save up some robux buy the magnet game pass that's really the only way you're going to be able to utilize this method efficiently aside from like actively farming the fruits but like i said it is earning hundreds of fruit every single night and this is the best way to get some strong units early this is exactly what i used on my noob to pro series to get some shiny legendaries, some early shiny mythics, and even have the secret fruits necessary to actually make my first shiny secrets and limitless uh, secrets. So it's a great strategy. Um, I highly recommend you guys use it. Anyways, if this helped you out, feel free to uh, join the Discord server for more information like this, discord.gg slash otrademark. Leave a comment in the description below if you have uh, any tips or suggestions or things for me to to try out. But anyways, guys, Malo Alpito, thanks for watching and peace out of here.